Welcome back to the bird's nest. Wrapped up warm. I'm over at Wire Downs at the moment. Just come for a walk to get some exercise on lockdown. Lockdown 2.0. Kirsty's over with Oakley at her mum's house. So I thought I'd come up and go for a walk along here until I get a call to come back and get her because we've got to get back for Lula. The girls are at the moment they're at the uh, um, playgroup. So a perfect opportunity to get half an hour exercise. Go for a walk. So I thought I'd bring you over to here because uh, I do have a walk down. So she's the need, devil's need, need and drop, I think. The sky today is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. You can see for miles, you can see into Ashford. I won't zoom because uh, it makes a really strange noise when it zooms because we need a new camera. Yeah, so how's your lockdown going, everybody? If you're in the UK, the whole of the UK is on lockdown at the moment, again. <laughs> but in all fairness, it doesn't feel like a lockdown. It just feels like normal, because uh, people are still going out and about, doing what they want to do. Schools are open, even the local cafe is still open, which it shouldn't be, in all fairness. There you go. These companies and businesses have got to keep afloat, otherwise they're going to fold be in a worse situation come next year so uh, yeah but um, it's crap really <laughs> it's rubbish absolute rubbish this year has been the worst I remember probably the worst a lot of people remember it's not been good but you just got to get on with it make sure you look after yourself keep your mask on when you're in shops that are open Pubs are shut again, restaurants are shut again, but the cafe is open, it shouldn't be open, I don't think. But so we go for a walk where I normally take the girls. The girls normally sit here and look at this. It's a feeding trough for animals that are up here. And it's on a ballcock system, so there's water running. Have a look. No, it's not working. But yeah, it's lovely around here, it is nice. Like this area. <coughs> See all the way over to the corner there. <coughs> There's our bench down there where we normally sit. Like looking at a Chinese paddy field, a hillside. And then over there you got Romney Marsh, you got Lid on Sea, Lid, Great Stone, Lid Romney. And you come round a bit, you got Hastings in the far back, Hospital William Hardy, you can see just there, through the sun glare. And you go down to the top of the tent. But um, not going to go too far because. Take the girls out. They sit on that bench and look out. Lots of people about. every day. They're all paying their rent now. We had two paying rent at one freeloader. 
but the freeloaders decided to plop an egg out every morning. So we go down to the chicken and uh, chicken coop in the morning, well I do, and uh, you get free eggs each day. So it's not bad going. So we're gonna we're rescuing two more. Um, don't know the history of them. I don't tell you. It's a company called Fresh Start for Hens, which is a non-profit organisation. And uh, you have to send pictures of your coop, your name and address on it. You send it to them, your donation. Minimum donation, £2.50 a hen. Um, you send as much or little as you want. And then they confirm with you and you go to the collection point. So Sunday I'm going to, I wasn't meant to be going to ten of them, or high haul them two hens but that's been cancelled now so I'll be going up to Alsford which is near Maidstone just up the motorway 25 minutes up the motorway go and find where I've got to go pick them up bring them home isolate them for a day or two on their own which is easy enough and then integrate them to the other three and that's when we see the packing order again that should be interesting but um Never thought I'd keep chickens. In all fairness, never thought I'd have bearded dragons when I had bearded dragons with Kirsty. But yeah, it's all good. So, <laughs> oh. This is how busy it is, look. There's people in the car park. Not too bad. There's our rust bucket. Should be off the road shortly. Just need to get a new car. Oh. But, um, oh. I think I did, mate. I'm absolutely shattered. Out of, out of practice. Because of the lockdown, the first one. Well, I've had out. Absolutely exhausted now. It's good to get your blood pumping, though. Makes you feel alive. <laughs> So this is the car park that we normally park up in and we go over to the bench that we just saw. Well, I've never actually been over to this bit. It should be quite interesting to see what's over here. Probably just a field. Yep, fields. Fields, fields. Quite a lot of movement up here to be fair. We came up here the other day. It was just me, Indy and Oakley. And this car park was packed, you couldn't get in. Couldn't get into the car park, it was so busy. We just turned around and come home. It's a shame. I oh, know, actually, we went somewhere else. Where did we go? I think we went to Westwell. I can't remember now. Slept since then. But, um, it's a decent size car park for parking up and having a night out up here. We'll wander around. And that is the view. We entered into a lockdown on uh, Thursday and uh, we were told about it on Monday and then Thursday come, midnight, Wednesday into Thursday, lockdown started. Um, like I say, it's, it's really like that we're not actually in a lockdown to be fair because there's so many people just doing what they normally do, out and about and all that sort of stuff. It really doesn't feel like we're in a lockdown. Not like the first time, the first time was harsh. But they're saying we're in it until the 2nd of December. Can't see it myself. I reckon we'll be out of it. we'll be out and then back in again. Because apparently they have to sign it off by the government. And the government have a vote. We have to run lease release or contend. And um, I really think they're gonna say yeah, we need to go back in, stay stay in. So we'll probably be in until Christmas. But they are actually saying at the moment that um, we're going to be in lockdown until the 2nd of December. 2nd of December we get released and then we have Christmas because everybody's worried about Christmas obviously because they're not going to be out to see their families and friends and stuff. But um, 
And then what they're saying is we have Christmas and New Year as normal, or as normal as possible. And then come the fir- the second of this second uh, of January, everything's going to be shut down completely, and we're all the whole population is going to have to self isolate for 14 days, and then back to normal. Which isn't a bad idea because it means you get to spend Christmas with your loved ones. But on the flip side, you're just spreading it still by pe- pe- meeting up. No. So, Anyway, I'm not going to rant on about COVID. Everybody knows what COVID is now. This time last year, didn't ever know, even have a clue what COVID was. But there you go. So, three o'clock, really. But this is one of my favourite spots up here. I don't like it up here. I could sit up here for hours. And just sit here and just watch people with their, what they're doing. Look at the scenery. Yeah, so. Right, I'm gonna call it a day. Have a little vlog. Had a bit of exercise. But I'm all good. So we're gonna get the girls in a minute. Pick them up, get them home, get them fed and watered. And then, uh, sort the chickens out, I suppose. I might take the camera down tomorrow and do a vlog from the chicken coop. I might do a live stream from the chicken coop, who knows? But yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Sorry it's not a very interesting vlog today. But um it's just a walk out in the woods, well countryside. So if you're new, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Look us up on social media. All underneath all underneath, no, all under the name of the bird's nest. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and um like, comment, subscribe if you're new. You'd be welcome to join the join what we're up to. So uh, for uh, for now, we'll see you later. Bye bye.